My name is Richard Stratton, and I wrote this book, Smuggler's Blues. But what we're doing is we're doing something very original and unusual as far as how we're going to roll this thing out. I became fascinated with the whole idea of serialization of books, back sort of like the way they did it when Dickens was publishing his books a chapter at a time, Dostoevsky was publishing a chapter at a time. The idea being that the readers read a chapter, they read a couple chapters, they want to read more, they're standing in line waiting for the next installment to come out. So I hooked up with Gregory de la Alba and Quiet Lunch magazine, and we're going to do an e-serialization where we're going to bring out 13 installments of this book. Every two weeks a new installment will come out. You can download it from their website which is quietlunch.com for $1.99 each installment. And then about two thirds of the way through, we'll bring out the entire ebook and then we'll bring out the hardcover and do it that way. So it's a, it's a new, unusual way of doing it. Everything that we always said about this magic herb is finally becoming known to, to people and it's amazing what's happening. But still, the problem being that there are still a lot of people who are locked up doing horrendous prison sentences for trafficking in a plant, a God-given plant that grows in the ground. It's, it's absurd. I read this quote today that said that the war on drugs is an insult to the intelligence of the American public. And it is, absolutely. It doesn't make any sense at all. It just ruins people's lives. One wingtip strikes ground. The plane twists on its axis, does an about face, slides, slides closer to the end of the runway and the riverbank. What am I supposed to do with that, I say? indicating the crash plan. Yogi shrugs, cracks a smile and says, turn it into a disco. <laughs> oh, thank you. Pleasure reading. The, the overall overarching theme of the book is the war on plants, as I call it, is an absurd, ridiculous, harmful mistake that is being, it's, it's causing more trouble than the plant would ever cause. Is there one thing that you can think about that somebody would take away from the book that would reflect maybe some regrets that you have from that time? I have a lot of regrets. I regret the people who got hurt as a result of their involvement with me, either emotionally or physically. A lot of people died. I had pilots who were flying in loads who died. I had people who died in Mexico. So I, I have a lot of regrets because, as I say, you know, to live outside the law, you got to be honest. If you're out there and you're putting your life on the line, there's a good chance you're going to get killed or you're going to go to prison. So I feel bad for all of that. But if I had it to do all over again, I probably would do it pretty much the same way. My name is Richard Stratton, and this is the New York Minute.